and done email address has been verified now it asks me to set a root user password so i'm gonna set a password for my root user wait a minute let's rewind that did it really just give a hint about each character that i'm typing in the password yes it did and that is not good well i realized this after posting that video and then i did some quick math just like everyone would right okay let me explain while i'm typing the password it shows a password strength meter kind of thing and it basically checks for some conditions that is whether my password contains an uppercase letter a lowercase letter numbers and non-alphanumeric characters which are basically special characters and whenever each condition is satisfied in the password that I'm typing in, it changes the tick mark to green color. So that password strength meter thing just gave away what kind of character I'm typing at any moment, right? Let's see, for the first character, it changed the tick beside numbers to green. So that means the first character is a number. For the second character, no change is observed in the password strength meter and only the numbers is green. So that means the second character is also a digit. Same is the case for the third character. So the third character must also be a number. But for the fourth character, it changed the tick beside the non-alphanumeric character to green. And you know what that means. That means the fourth character is basically a special character like at the rate, exclamation, dollar symbol, hashtag, etc. For the fifth character, it clearly says that it is an uppercase letter. And for the sixth character, the last condition, which is the lowercase letter, is turned green, which tells us that the sixth character is a lowercase alphabet. And from this point, we don't really have any more intel because all the conditions in the pop-up are satisfied. So we can't really tell what the next character might be in the password. But we do know about the first six characters out of the total 11 characters in the password. So what can we do with it? Let's do some quick math with the information that we have. We know that the first character is a digit and there are 10 digits. So there are 10 characters possible for this spot. The second and third characters are also digits. So there are the same 10 possibilities for these spots also. The fourth spot is a special character. So there are 28 possibilities because there are 28 different special characters that can be used in a password as far as I know. The fifth spot is known as an uppercase letter. So there are 26 possibilities because there are 26 alphabets in English language. The sixth spot is a lowercase letter. So once again, there are 26 possibilities for this spot as well. For the next five spots, there are 10 plus 52 plus 28, which is equal to 90 possibilities each. So if I multiply the possibilities for each spot, it would give me the total number of possible passwords based on the information we have which is this number, this value. And well, yeah, I really don't know how to spell this number. So let me actually use an online tool in there. Uh, what if I just Google for spell a number? I'll paste the number, click on spell number. And this is how the number is spelled. Let me try to spell it. 111 quadrillion 769 trillion 947 billion 200 million it basically means that there are these many possible passwords if you want to like brute force or crack my password you would have to go through I don't want to repeat that number, but you basically have to go through these many number of possibilities before you can crack my password. So I don't know, did I really mess up? Is it bad? I don't think so because good luck guys. Good luck in cracking my password. It's 111 quadrillion, blah, 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 blah. But wait, 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 let us actually go to the what if scenario. Cause I just want to show you something cool. All right. Let's say that my password is this, this string that is shown on the screen. So let's apply the same information that we applied for my real password previously. These are the number of possibilities for each spot. And if I multiply all these, it will give me this value. So it means there are these many number of possible passwords. It doesn't look that bad. It's 4,921,280,000 possibilities. 
and you know what that's actually not that hard to crack it's it's actually very achievable and you know what let me actually have the fun of achieving it i'm going to write a python program that will try to crack this password and let's see how long it takes to crack it and of course this is considering that we have the information that the password shrink meter prompt gives us when we type this password in that particular web page okay so this is the python script let me quickly explain you what it does basically it first takes the information we have about the password and then it creates a regular expression from it and then it will generate all the strings that match this regular expression and then it will check if any of the generated strings match the password to be cracked that's it it's that simple so let's go ahead and run it now and let's see how long that will take to crack the password so it took my computer 56 minutes two seconds to crack this password that's awesome isn't it so the point i want to make here is that this could have been really bad for me if the password that i typed in that video is similar to this where the number of possibilities is low but thank god that's not the case i just wanted to show you because i thought it's cool so let me know in the comment section did you think it's interesting let me know